Well, hello, gang. Welcome back once again to The Long Dark. I'm Lonely Wolf, and we're back. We have finished one step on our objective here, and we have filled the kitchen larder. Now we just have to get the last survivor, but before we do that, ladies and gents, let us go do the side quests. Mm, excuse me. Uh, we just finished having another one of our candid little blizzards that we just absolutely love so much. I mean, we don't love them at all. Absolutely not. Absolutely hate them. <sighs> anyway, we're going to go do a step or part three of the, uh, the pepper cash pepper caches thing because why not there's really no reason why not to uh, give me any good reason not to you can't facts let's go see if I can uh, if I haven't already opened this guy's trunk oh I have okay that's been dark since the moment you stepped out the front door what are you complaining about do you not have eyes, ears, skin that can feel the bare raw cold? If you answered no to any of these things, you might be a zombie. Alright, where is said hatch? It's gotta be up top, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, that's a yes. Yeah, it's up and around, I'm gonna assume. So I don't see anything floating around down here. Just in case somebody wants to get a little feisty with us. Okay, they're just branches. Okay. Thought I saw wolves for a second. I was gonna be like, seriously? Up here? You gotta be kidding me. But no, just branches. Weird looking branches, but branches. Yeah, right there, where is that hatch? There it is! Hello, hatch! How nice of you to drop by. It's gonna be dark and I didn't bring a light source. Sleep till morning. These guys always have a bed in them, I think. Mind if I just yoink those? This one, that was a bad, but okay. Oh, it is! Would you look at that? Let's make sure we're well thirsted. Well thirsted, that's a word. Goodness gracious, I can speak. I don't know how to spout. Don't you blame my mama for my lack of sh fucking skills. She done taught me right. I'm just a wayward hillbilly. That doesn't really fit though. This is Ashton we're talking about. She's a well, well researched, uh, composed doctor. And that is not in character. Alright, it should be light enough in here after this little stint of sleeping. 13 hours of rest, huh. Wish I could stuff that much rest. Are 
Revolver ammunition. Yes, please. MRE. Yes. So the forest talkers have been raiding these, huh? They've been doing a trash job of it. Another revolver. Cool. Yeah, I didn't realize I needed this much MRE, but... Holy cow. A buttload of fire logs. I don't really need to think... I don't really think you need to carry much more, sweetheart. These fire logs weigh a heck load. Four pounds each. Four, almost four and a half. But uh, we don't want them, really, I don't think. We know they're here, so if we do want them, we'll come back for them. Wow, so what, uh, um, top tier advice, uh, for those of you who haven't played story mode yet, I'm sure like all of you have. I don't have two cooking pots, we'll take that, I want to. Uh, where's my tin cans? Uh, they can kiss my butt. Bye. Unload. And drop. We got 52 rounds for this bad boy. Dang, girl, you're slow at this. Actually, she's faster than I probably would be. I've only shot her revolver like what a couple of times, and yeah, well, let's not talk about it. Ooh, wee, fire strike. All right, let's cart these goodies back to back to back to home base, and then we have two other side missions to do. It's still basically a blizzard. Just shy of one. Heavy wind, lots of snow. Also cold. Let's go de-loot ourselves at the community hall before we continue. No waffles is a good thing. Is nice. Eh, what the hell, let's grab a... I know we filled the community hall up, so we don't need any more there. But just in case we end up needing a, a spare uh, antiseptic, let's go ahead and get, get the materials for it. And that was a nice prepper cache. So yeah, these forest talkers, I... I don't know what they're doing. One person alone can use all the supplies in these in the singular prepper cache. We've had three of them. Like, what the hey? You guys are so bad. I don't know if you live up to the forest part of your name. I think all y'all do is talk. I'm pretty sure we checked this truck too, but for sake of my sanity, yeah. All right, now let's leave the hood up. Oh no, wait! I'm supposed to keep in line with the the Brit speak, the bonnet. We gotta leave the bonnet up. Not that I can do a British accent. I can't. I can very rarely, if I put my mind to it, do a Scottish accent, and I can do a uh, Indian accent uh, from tech support. And before you call me a racist, um, the only reason I know how to do that accent is because I knew an Indian guy in tech support. <laughs> so, <laughs> don't blame me. I learned it from a guy. Also, let's warm up while we're back, because holy cow, this uh, wind is, this wind is no joke. What's my windshield uh, status? Plus nine? What's current wind chill? Minus three? Oh, we're actually not hurting that bad from the wind chill. It's just, it's just cold. Oh no, wait, yeah we are. Look at that wind chill, negative 31. Ha! I must have been sheltered from the wind when I took that reading. Yeah, shelter, oh no, we're not sheltered from the wind. Was this fire warm enough then? Must be, air temperature's 18 next to it. Yeah, it's the fire.
I got to de-loot myself. We gotta get this third survivor, we're not gonna have room. I should really take this storm lantern with. Just just FYI. Uh Mackinac jacket. Where does that go? Down here? No. Is Mackinac better? Heck yes! I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I work all night and I sleep all day. Don't need you. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. You need repair. Get wrecked. I'm sad I just repaired you and wasted stuff. It's all good though. Don't need two can openers. Don't need a jerry can. Don't need two knives. Don't need rifle ammunition. I don't need 46 rounds of that, but you know, don't don't tell anybody that. So yeah, as pro tip to those who haven't played yet, do the prepper caches missions. Uh, you will be well rewarded and capable of stocking yourself up well beyond your wildest dreams. As well as the community hill. I don't need antiseptic. I've got one little thing. I don't need this much anti-bios. I don't need that many bandages. Four is fine. I don't need this much accelerant. Two is good. Where's my weight at? Probably in here. I think. Or here. It's probably here because we grabbed another pot. That's two whole pounds. Let's ditch one of the. Let's ditch two of these. We're not even hardly using them. We're not using the hatchet. We won't be using that for a while. Yeah, I think we're fine. Let's repair my little woo, your rappies. Yay, your rappies. We're up to plus 40. Nice. Okay. Uh, what's the other objective? Uh, side. Blackrock. We gotta go do the, uh, search for the signs of the escaped convictios. And we also have a fishing trip to do, for some reason. At the, uh, pensive pond. Now we're getting a little hungry. We should probably eat in a while, but I'll wait for my water to drop because I want to eat an MRE. Or we can just eat a granola bar. Energy bar, sorry. A Lara bar or a Cliff bar, whatever your local uh, congruent item would be. Preferred item. Why is the game saving now out of all times? Is it just like on an autosave timer? Probably. I can't remember. I think it is. I was about to say, is the game about to do something scary? Should I whip out my trusty six shot? <clears> huh, <throat> I got a funny story to share. Gather around, kids. Story time with Lonely. Uh, I got this story from a guy. Um, claims it's a real story. You can judge the veracity of it. It's funny, regardless. He used to work in a police department, and they had this, uh... He wasn't fat, or terribly overweight, but, you know, a little more rounded. Well-rounded looking guy. Um... And, uh, he got reported to a traffic incident. And so he went to, you know, investigate. You know, this is before the days of the cell phones. He had two-way, or, you know, you had the radios and, and normal phones and such. But anyway, uh, this lady had hit a deer. Um, just, you know, wanted to report the location so the authorities could take care of the mess. And so, uh, this guy shows up, and for the sake of the story, let's call him Larry. And, uh, and no, he wasn't armed with a revolver, but that would be funny. Uh, he shows up, and yep, sure enough, there's the deer. Wheezing, still alive, in massive shock, pain, and blood loss at the edge of the road. All beat and bloodied up. And, you know, the guy feels bad. Poor deer, you know. So he pulls out his gun, little nine mil pistol, 
and uh, places it right between the eyes of the deer. Bam! Pulls off a single shot. The deer reels back, resumes position, original position, opens its eyes and keeps breathing. Not sure if he really pierced the skull or not. Larry puts the gun to the deer's head again and pulls the trigger again. The deer was not happy with this turn of events. The deer was just trying to get home, and the rogue just happened to be in the way. Stupid humans ruining the planet, something or other, whatever that deer is thinking, I don't know. And uh, not only does this dumb road have to be in this way, but this, this lady who's in such a rush is in her car just down the road. Takes no care for a casual little deer crossing the road and goes BAM! Now the deer is on the side of the road, writing its last will and testament when Larry shows up. Now how would you feel if you were this deer? Larry shows up, and to add insult to injury, puts a gun to your head and shoots twice. And you're not dead. Well, I'm not sure how you would feel, but deer got up with its busted legs, and deer chased Larry down the road. <laughs> Larry ran for all he was worth, firing blindly over his shoulder. In a suburb, at the deer who's chasing her behind him. The deer, at that point, from the exertion, died of blood loss and lack of oxygen to the brain. <laughs> and that was how Larry got the nickname of Six Shot McGee. And the reason Lonely thought of this story, boys and girls, is because he mentioned Six Shot when talking about the revolver. And that's how Lonely's brain works. This has concluded story time with Lonely. Do I know where I'm even going? I've just been blathering. Okay, I kind of am in the right direction. <laughs> We're getting there. I didn't stray too far, of course. I have lots of dumb little stories like that. Collected from other people or from my own life experiences. But now I'm trying to figure out Astrid's story, but Astrid doesn't have much of a story right now. Astrid's story is, I'm saving people. Uh, we have a sick person in Perseverance Mills that needs some sort of drug that's in the hard case that we're illogically believing my most likely dead ex-husband has somehow acquired, has somehow not died, and has somehow under made it to Milton, and has somehow understood a cryptic message and is on his way towards me as we speak. Supposedly. Supposedly. Darn you, Signal Hill, for being locked. I really wish you were open. But I presume as soon as we uh, grab the last survivor, which is not on the top of my priorities, we have three side quests to finish first. The church artifact, the prisoners, and fishing. Hi, bridge. You gonna clank at me? Pretty sure I've searched the trunk on this car as well. But for- holy cow, this wind is trash, man. I'm called again already. Good thing I have literally all the time. And I'm not worried about hypothermia. Is there waffles around here? It better not be waffles. Not even midday yet. I hope this wind cool cools it off. <laughs> That's not what I meant by cools it off. I hope this wind cools cool it. Yeah, there we go. Cool it. Cool it, wind. Knock it off. Shove off, eh? To be proper, Nadian. Shove off, mate.
That's what happens when you accidentally left click when you're not expecting to. That's why I normally keep my fingers off the mouse buttons while I'm playing the long dark. But as you can see, Lonely's a dummy. Now to be fair, props to Hinterland for the detail of the bark flying off the tree as I shot it. Attention to detail. That's what turns me on. We're gonna get another sprain. Good thing I have bandages. Here comes the sprain in three, two, one. Sprain! No? No spring? Cool. Let's down some emery. Emery? No, not emery. M R E military rations something. Oh. What does the descriptor for those say? Military grade emery. Well, what's M R E stand for? I don't know. I'm a dunny. Multi-role equipment? I don't know. It's something to do with food. It's military rations and something, I think. Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Do you hate being cold? Man, I prefer being cold to being hot. Uh, let me know in the comments which you prefer most, being cold or being hot. I'd rather, I'd rather be cold than be hot. When you're hot, when one is hot, you can only take off so many clothes before it's illegal. And even if you don't give a fig about laws, you can't very well tear your own skin off. And live. And not that that would help you cool down anyway. That'd actually make you hotter. You'd just roast at that point. Um... When one is cold, one can always light fires, go inside, find things to warm you up, exercise, add more clothes, snuggle under the blankets with your waifu. I mean, yeah, there's plenty of options. When, when one is hot, yeah, not so much. I would rather be cold. I can't really ever get cold hardly though because my Dern mitochondria are broken. They're like, is that a spare calorie? Time to burn it! Which has the pros of I can eat the entire Thanksgiving dinner and not gain a pound once it's done processing, that is. Um, but uh, <laughs> on the other hand, I'm always hungry. And summers are unbearable because my body's like, I don't care that it's 90 degrees outside. You are going to burn calories. We'll stop for a bit to warm up in the cavern. A hatchet? For me? Thanks. Somebody's messaging me on Steam and I don't have Steam turned off. A rat row. I'm a bad YouTuber. I don't turn my notifications off. Hey, at least uh, at least I'm not stinking Yogg's Cast Lewis and Simon playing GTA and all their little friends notifications pop up but they don't bother to blur it. At least I have my little pop-ups turned off. More now to find the supplies. Time to bed down for a second and rest. One hour, please, till I am warm, nice and warm. Small little wolfle, I mean, Astro gotta warm up. 
Yay, ooh. Cool. Thank you, mission. All right, well, let's, uh, let's save. And that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. I've been Lonely Wolf, and as always, stay safe and stay warm out there.